My name is Heather. Welcome to the Children's Zoo's Coastal Pool, and I am excited to introduce you to all of our feathery friends. Please join me while we go on this short adventure. <laughs> voluntary corral. Um, eventually we'll take that corral and turn it into a voluntary scale behavior so we're able to weigh one ruddy duck at a time. Canada, United States, and down into Mexico. Love the water, which makes them great at swimming and diving, as well as eating a variety of aquatic plants, and as well as small invertebrates. Now, unlike other ruddy ducks are known to form a breeding pair during the breeding season, and will lay up to 13 eggs. Now, regardless of their size, the ruddy duck's eggs are proportionally the largest of all waterfowl, ranging up to three inches. So for a duck that at its heaviest can weigh up to two pounds, their eggs can be up to three inches. They're being a little shy right now. So our ruddy ducks are three, but tomorrow's their birthday, so they're going to turn four years old tomorrow. Their conservation status is stable as well. Good job, guys. So as you can see, our two males chase each other around. They do have a hierarchy. Uh, I believe Donald is the most dominant one, so he likes to chase Darkwing around. maybe four to five inches off the So they're fairly small. Again, remember they can, they're heaviest, they're at two, two pounds at their heaviest. they do love the water they're great at swimming and diving they have those big strong web feet to help push them through the water so our ruddy ducks unfortunately cannot fly uh, so they're primarily in the water but they can fly and they can fly from parts of Canada to the United States and down into Mexico. They prefer the warmer weather just like some of us do here in Houston.
So this little cubby right here is where our ruddy ducks like to hide from the pelicans. Sometimes the pelicans like to chase these little guys around. So this is where they like to hide in this nice little cubby. So they do sleep either underneath this little bush in this little cubby or they sleep under the bridge, which we'll see in a few minutes. Now follow me as we go and meet some of our other feathery friends. <laughs> so we'll start with Thurston and Lovey. Do I have any Gilligan Island fans out there? If so, again, introducing Thurston and Lovey. They are two of our brown pelicans. And brown pelicans are very large, bulky water birds. Good job, guys. They uh, are known to hunt their prey, which is fish, uh, from the sky and plunge head first into the water. They are one of the only two species of pelican known to hunt by plunging into the water. They're also one of the only three species of pelican found on the Western Hemisphere. Good job. They are about three years old. They can weigh up to seven pounds and stand up to three feet tall. So, pelicans do have predators like sharks, as well as when they're young, raccoons, foxes, and as well as bird, bird of prey. So right now I'm feeding them capelin and a smaller fish called silver sides. So a cool thing about the pelican is that they're underneath their bill has a very large uh, sack that sack can hold up to two to three gallons of water. After they catch their prey, remember by diving headfirst into the water, they will drain the water out from the side of their bill before swallowing the fish whole. Pelicans can fly and they fly fairly well. Unfortunately, our two guys cannot fly due to injuries. They were uh, rehab birds found out in the wild Due to their injuries, they cannot be released back out into wild. So the Houston Zoo is now their permanent home. All the ruddy ducks, you have a happy birthday shout out. Thank you very much. goal. He's actually joining us a little late. So Skippy was also another rescue. He was found due to an injury. So laughing goals uh, can live up to 15 years. Skippy was, that was rude, uh, Sk Skippy uh, was acquired to us back in 2000. So he's definitely older than 15. They can stand. There you go, Skippy. So during the breeding season, the male and female laughing gull will build a nest together. They will also care for their young together as well, taking turns sitting on the nest or feeding their hatchlings. Now during breeding season, if a male cannot find a mate, he will start building a nest and hopes to attract a female. Fourth birthday. 
Dante, Elijah, thank you so much for watching. Our ready ducks also like to snag a little fish as well. Remember, we talked about how they love eating small aquatic things, such as, remember, invertebrates, bugs, as well as aquatic plants. If you want to know how to tell our pelicans apart, you can tell that Lovey, our female, has a tiny little ankle bracelet on her left leg, and Thurston, our male, does not have an ankle bracelet. can reach up to um, five to six feet. Now what they're standing on right now are pelicans is their station. So they are station trained um, as well as they have assigned colors for voluntary scale. If we put the blue square on our scale, Thurston knows that he needs to get on the scale to get his weight. And then Lovey has a red square she knows that she needs to get on the scale so we can get her weight as well. Again, this is all voluntary. Again, remember those ruddy ducks are chasing each other. The closer it gets to the breeding season, uh, you'll really start to see that hierarchy. Donald, again, is our most dominant male. Oh, there's Daisy. So our ruddy ducks can hold their breaths for up to three minutes. Ducks are Darkwing, Morgana, Daisy, and Donald. They're three years old and they will turn four tomorrow. Their birthday is tomorrow. And then our Pelicans, if I have any Gilligan Island fans out there, are Thurston and Lovey. They are our brown Pelicans. And then our Laughing Goal, Skippy.
Okay, so now that we're up close and personal with our ruddy ducks, remember how we talked about those blue bills? Do y'all remember what the blue bills were? They were the males, and the brown bills were the females. During the breeding season, besides chasing each other, the males will stick their tails straight up in the air and bob their head real fast to attract a female. Our ruddy ducks love to nibble on the silver sides, which were the smaller fish, and as well as getting game bird breeder right now since it is coming into the breeding season. The ruddy duck's favorite food would definitely be the fish and mealworms. And then our pelicans really like the silver sides, which is the smaller fish. Skippy, our laughing goal, on Sundays he gets shrimp and those are his favorite days. Shrimp days are his favorite days. Oh, look, they're diving at the bottom to get some of the fish. Well, thank you so much for tuning in with us. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of our feathery friends here at the Coastal Pool. Don't forget that you can visit the Houston Zoo at houstonzoo.org to help donate to our emergency fund because we still have our keeper staff here every day caring for these animals. And also stay tuned tomorrow at 11 p.m. for another surprise animal. Thank you.